Hello everyone, this is Absolute Zero Baconator here, and as you know, it's a time for another scary story. Now, just to let you guys know, if you'd like to see more scary stories, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not, I'd love another soldier to the armada, and comment what you'd like to see on the channel, because my great content you guys would enjoy, and I enjoy creating for you, so. This, this story for today is called Seven Fingers. Once upon a time, there lived a girl named Sarah. It was her seventh birthday, but she had no friends, so that meant, of course, no party. So Sarah's dad went out with her to the shops to buy Sarah a present. When they arrived at the shop, everything looked dark and gloomy. Uh, Sarah, my dear, are you sure this is the right shop? Her dad said. Sarah looked around and replied, yes. She walked deeper into the shop and saw a shadow standing in the corner. She walked over and saw a figure of a clown swinging his hands, holding up six fingers. I want this one! Sarah exclaimed. Yes, dear, her father answered. When they got home, it was getting late and Sarah's parents were going out shopping. Lock all the doors, Sarah, her dad said. If anyone comes in, call us, her mom said. And go to bed at nine sharp, they both said. Okay, okay, just get lost. Sarah snapped. At nine o'clock, Sarah realized it was time to go to bed, so she turned off the TV and went upstairs. She tucked herself in the bed and closed her eyes, but suddenly she heard a faint voice. Sarah, I'm in your kitchen. My, what was that? She mumbles to herself. After five minutes or so, she fell back asleep. Sarah. I'm coming up your stairs, the voice said again, but Sarah didn't hear. Once again, there was a voice, except now it was screaming. Sarah, I'm right behind you. Sarah woke up startled and turned around. She died. The clown killed her. When Sarah's parents arrived, they saw something up on their roof. Dad went to go get a torch, but that's when he realized that the figure was a clown, holding Sarah's head in his arms, and his hands were swaying. This time he was holding seven fingers. <laughs> Thank you.